Coach Burke. I am uh, the strength and conditioning coach here at Western Moon High School. I also am assistant for football and then I'm the head track coach in the spring. Uh, my mom and dad, uh, I'm blessed to have some awesome parents. Um, one of three, so I have two older brothers, I'm the youngest. Uh, my oldest brother has two uh, little boys, so I have an uncle to two nephews. Um, and then lovely wife, and I just had a baby boy uh, five months ago, baby boy. So fun fact, I actually learned and took drum lessons. I, was, I love playing the drums, like I'm always having to do stuff with my hands. I used to play the drums, I love playing the drums. My brother was actually a guitarist, so we had a little band back in like fifth, sixth grade. But he was really good, I was terrible, but loved playing the drums. And that kind of I know I'd be terrible at this. As soon as I get a lot of money, I guarantee I'd just spend it all, but definitely pay off my debts first, take care of my family second, and I'd probably go on about a two-month hiatus, just, just anything I want, just splurging, buying some Lamborghinis, or buying some drum sets, whatever it is, but yeah, no, I would uh, definitely spend that money rather quickly. I mean. Food comp, I love food. Like, I mean, I can sit here and talk all day about food, but. Got each protein. No, number one, got each protein. But uh, eggs in the morning. Put I put mustard on my eggs. Some people think that's really weird and disgusting. Love mustard on eggs. Uh, one random one is A1 steak sauce on mac and cheese. If you haven't tried that, you gotta try it. It's absolutely phenomenal. So, younger self and also currently. So don't uh, use this against me, please. But I hate feet. I absolutely hate feet. I wanted to be an athletic trainer. I wanted to take care of athletes and be able to you know, diagnose an injury, but I'm like, nope, once those shoes come off, I'm out. So I uh, don't like feet, but also hate spiders. I'm talking like every meter within, within one meter of you at all times is a spider. The little ones are the worst. Uh, the big ones, obviously you can see them. I can hopefully get it with a baseball bat or whatever, but my wife uh, usually makes fun of me at home because I'll be like, ah, oh, there's a spider where you kill it. But so it's a younger, younger self scare, but also apparently scared. My name is uh, Mrs. Marconette, and I am an English teacher here. Um, I teach American Literature, AP Language and Composition, and the English Language Learner class. No, um, I actually like, um, say my favorite band would probably be like Rob Zombie. Um, I like loud music. She's okay, but it's not what I would listen to on a regular basis. Um, neither. I'm a good daytime person. Oh gosh, I don't even know. That was hard. Um, ooh, I remember when people used to tight roll their jeans. Um, and it was very intricate and you would have to fold them over and get it just right. That was kind of fun. But that's all that I can think of. Uh, my name is Mr. Oakley and I'm a social studies teacher here at Western Boone. And I've been teaching for 15 years and coaching basketball for 21 years. My first job was at Blimpies, which is uh, similar to like a Jimmy John's or a Subway. My best childhood memory is kind of ruining my childhood experience for my two sisters. So we, I ran into, uh, or we went to Chuck E. Cheese and walked in and the large mouse scared me so bad that I just ran straight out of there and we never went back. I'm absolutely a Swifty. Red, 22, blank space, those are always playing in my classroom. They're my favorite. Hi, I'm Matt Fox for the uh, Teach Radio TV here at Western Moon. It's my 24th year. Uh, this is a class you can take as a junior and senior. It's a CTE class, and we do all kinds of radio and TV stuff.
Yeah, actually before being a teacher, um, I worked at a TV station, so interviewing celebrities was kind of something we did quite a bit. Uh, more athletes than anything, but I've been lucky enough to interview um, a couple presidents and just kind of some movie stars when they come into town, so that's kind of a fun thing to do. Yeah, I mean, I love my family. Uh, I, I love being outdoors. I love to walk with our dogs. Um, I like to golf when we have time. Um, I think my passion is probably renovating houses. Uh, that's kind of something I do a lot. Uh, but I, that's kind of what we do outside of school. Uh, my name is Daniel Pierce, and I am one of the science teachers here at Western Boone. I teach both dual credit uh, anatomy, phys, and molecular cellular biology, and then have two classes of integrated chemistry and physics. My first job uh, was actually um, started my sixth grade year and for 21 years worked at a local trophy shop, Ladies Trophy Center, not too far from the school. A lot of the, the plaques, trophies, and things that we have around here have the Ladies Trophy Center sticker on them, and, and I got to do that for 21 years. I have two kids, a six-year-old boy named Parker, a eight-year-old girl, Kennedy, and then my wife and I, we've been married for 11 years. Her name's Amanda. Favorite leisure activity, um, kind of umbrella over all out, outdoor things. Love being outdoors, whether it's hiking. Um, that's probably what I spend most time doing is hiking with my family. Get the, the little legs on the eight-year-old and six-year-old going. They can hike all day long. So we have a lot of fun doing that um, locally and um, national parks kind of have become our thing. And if i um, not hiking outdoors, then I'm probably fishing. I have. Um, I've had some pretty awesome opportunities at the, the church that we're at. Um, when well-known people come into the church, they like to get them in groups with, with other people um, that kind of share the same um, types of lifestyles. And I've gotten to, to work with those celebrities, um, mostly athletes, like Colts players and, and Pacers, um, and then had one, one politician in one of our groups. My name is Mrs. Wilbur, and I'm the assistant principal here at Western Boone in charge of curriculum and instruction. I am currently watching Lost. So my husband um, was really into Lost in college and tried to get me to watch it with him then, and I refused. Um, so we are currently binging Lost together for the first time. So I haven't had it in a long time, but when I was in high school, I went to Monrovia and they made the really good like Otis Spunkmeyer cookies and we used to dip them in cheese sauce. And it was bizarre, but delicious. Yes. I am neither. I'm like, I think I've seen it before. It's like an exhausted pigeon just all the time. Um, but I would say if I had to pick it would definitely be more of a night owl. I am not a morning person and no one at my house is allowed to talk to me until I've had coffee. So. Oh, the crying laughing face, hands down. I use that one in literally everything, so it would be that one. Oh my gosh, my kids. They always make me smile. Um, they drive me crazy sometimes, but I have a nine-year-old and a six-year-old, and they ride the bus up here um, from Wells, and every day when they get off the bus, they make me smile. My name is Mrs. Foxworthy, and I teach junior high math, and seventh and eighth grade, but this year I have all eighth graders. I have two cats and two dogs, and uh, I love my animals. Um, our dogs are totally opposite. One is really small and really energetic, and the other one is really big and very lazy. I've always wanted to play the drums. Um, I actually did play an instrument growing up. I was in the band, um, but uh, I wanted to learn drums, and my family told me no. <laughs> so we had a kind of a small house growing up, so that was going to be a little bit too loud. So I got to learn the clarinet instead. So I dream about 
about this a little bit more than I probably should, but um, I would love to pay off like all of my family's mortgages. So I've got a lot of family and I think it'd be really fun to do that. So no, <laughs> but I've studied several. Um, so I, I have taken Spanish and German and learned about those. Um, they kind of get all jumbled in my head. But um, my grandma, who was uh, also a teacher, she had a really cool gift for language. So I always thought it would be really cool to be able to do that. But um, I'm not fluent in any. Just I've just learned a little of each of those. So. Same grandma that I was just talking about, she told me, um, and she, she taught until she was 70, and she was a professor, and then had to retire because she was tenured, but she told me that if, if I did what I loved, I would never have to work a day in my life, and she really modeled that, so I, I think about that a lot, and uh, she literally like taught a semester for free once she turned 70 just because she wanted to finish the year. Um, and later was known to have said that they could have got another good seven years out of her. Um, so she really truly loved doing that and so I, I just remember her saying that. And that's kind of stuff.